Hello everyone and welcome to another gear review. This is the Basin 36 hiking backpack from the North Face. I bought this backpack brand new when it first came out and it's still listed on the website. They're still selling it. They're probably still selling it at Cabela's and Bass Pro and other outdoor retailers. It's a decent pack. I've gotten a lot of use at it. It's durable. The materials work. But the creature comforts and some of the design problems are extremely annoying and I think that there are other choices out there for the money that you could get comparable performance. Now the durability I can't complain about at all. The pack is extremely comfortable. There's no rips or no tears. It breathes well. The materials are top notch, but the design flaws really, really get to me. So I'm going to go over some of the features and then we'll go over some of the design issues that I have. So let's start off with the features. So let's start off with the front. So with the 36 liter pack, you get these wings here with the belt strap and these two extra pockets. Now, these are good pockets because of the access, right? It's quick access right above your uh, pants pockets. So you can store things in here, say if you don't wear pants that have you know pockets in them, like sweatpants or something like that, don't have pockets at all. You put your keys, you can put wallet, you can put uh, chapstick, but these pockets for how big this side thing is, they're extremely small for the amount of material on the side here. So the pocket looks a lot bigger than it is. So you can only fit small things in here. If you put your cell phone in here, it will eat up the whole pocket space. Um, I tried to put a little cutting tool in here and it's so tight fitting in there with the rubber handle, it's hard to get in and out. So without these pockets, um, I wouldn't have bought it at all. I really need these pockets for the amount of gear that I have and I need it to be quick access. Now they work for what I use it for, but for as big as this space is, they could have made the pocket more functionable, to be honest. It's not a big space, but it's better than nothing. Now the next thing with the pocket that I don't like is there's only these two pockets at the top, right? You've got your big main compartment with the double zipper, and then you've got this smaller compartment here that's only got a single zipper. So here you've got the double zipper for the main compartment, right? But here you only have a single zipper. So it only zips one way. And this pocket is extremely small. So you can't fit a lot of stuff in here. It also doesn't have a divider or anything at all. It does have a little key loop thing. So as far as features inside this pocket, it's small and it's quite annoying because you can't fit a lot of stuff in there. And here it is, right? That's the whole size of the pocket. But then this is the lifesaver, his little kangaroo pouch thing. But there's another issue with the backpack, which makes this feature kind of, it neutralizes it. So the bag itself always falls forward. So whenever you set it down, it will always fall forward, right? So no matter what you have in it, it always does this. And it is annoying as all heck. So every time that I'm wanting to take my backpack off and set it down and I go to set it on the ground, it does that every time, every time. So if you have anything in here or anything in the side pockets, it will come out or, you know, the momentum will push it out. So every time that I want to take the pack off, I'm always looking to hang this by it onto a tree limb or something so that the pack doesn't always fall and get dirty or the stuff doesn't come out of it. So extremely obnoxious. I'm glad that this is here because I can put my, my hat and my gloves, just take them off and stow them in there real quick or here, no problem. And it's also adjustable so you can tighten it down, but the pack always falls forward. And then when it does this, the rain fly thing, this button that holds the rain fly in here is the most useless thing. I don't even think that they tested this. This is ludicrous that they didn't even test this feature. So this button is supposed to keep the rain fly in, but it's literally useless. You can literally just take a little bit of pressure and it comes off. And you will see other people's comments that this always comes out. 
Now after you set the pack down and it falls forward a few times, the button will come undone and then the rain fly will start to, to pop out. And then as you use the pack, this will come undone and then you'll have to button it again. Some people have commented that it makes the rain fly come out. My rain fly doesn't come out, it's just obnoxious that this button does absolutely nothing. It's useless, so huge design flaw. The rain fly itself works great. I've used it in the snow and in the rain, worked fine. It's easy to use and uh, the directions pretty simple. So it has these attachment points in red. You see there's one here and there's one on each side, these red attachment points. It hooks onto them. So this comes out and it hooks onto them and it works really well. But the thing is, is when you have it on there, right? Well, then it's covering up the pack and then you can't really access it because you're covering it, right? So I, I get it, you need it covered, right? Because you don't want your stuff to get wet. Well, then you got to undo it to get to the pack, right? Because of it's right here, so it covers everything. So, uh, whatever. Here is where the bladder goes, right here. So this big extra space here on the bag for the bladder. And you can loop it through here, but it doesn't have one of those clip things to hold the water thing to like some of them do. So it doesn't come with a hydration bladder either. Now the back here is extremely breathable. This material here on the back and the sides, it does breathe extremely well. And there is a lot of adjustment and there's adjustment here at the top of the shoulder and there's adjustment here. And these are extremely long. So if you're a bigger fellow, this backpack will fit you. No problem. Cause I have it really tight. I still haven't figured out what some of these features are for. Like I, I, like this is a little thing that's a little mesh. I don't know what that's for. Um, it has just a random little loop down here. This is for like attaching a sleeping bag or you can use to put your coat. So see, it came undone. Just messing with it, it'll come undone. It's got the molly here, but in my opinion, it's going the wrong way. It needs to go this way to make use of it. So it's a good idea, but poor execution because it should be going this way and not up and down. You get more use out of it. Now, you can fit a good amount of stuff in it. The main compartment does have a little divider thing here, but there's no padding like a laptop backpack would have. It's different, but 36 liters of space. So you can get a fair amount of kit in there. But the thing I don't like is the carry handle is kind of uh, lacking. If you've seen other backpacks, they're a lot thicker and more durable. So um, I also don't know what this is for, this little loop thing here to attach something, but what I don't know. And there's no real explanation on some of these features on the website. That's what's annoying is I'm like trying to figure out, you know, how to use it. This is nice. It slides up and down. So if you like it higher or lower on your chest, so me personally, I like it about across my nipples. So it's nice and sturdy. And then I like, these are fully tightened. When I wear it, I tighten these down and then I kind of leave the bottom strap pretty loose, but it is comfortable with this either on or off and it doesn't ride too low and it's pretty comfortable to be quite honest, but you don't have to have them connected and you, you can walk with them just fine. You would think maybe they'd get in the way. No, nah, they just stay to your sides. So you don't actually have to have the bottom thing connected for it to be comfortable. You can wear this without them connected because I only connect the chest strap. I don't usually connect the bottom one. And if I do connect the bottom one, I just leave it super loose. So it stays pretty tight to the body. So overall out of five stars, I would give it three. You take one star away from the silly pocket design where it only has one zipper instead of two, and it's a really small, shallow pocket. Take one star away from the fact that um, the button thing doesn't work and that the rain fly comes out. Some people even made a comment that they cut the rain fly out of here and then just keep it in the bag to attach it on there because this button doesn't do anything. And uh, I kind of thought about taking a safety pin and safety pinning it to it just to keep it down on there because it is really obnoxious and it's such a little thing for them to overlook. And for a $120 backpack, 
it's like this on all of them because they, I believe they all, each model should have the rain fly. The smaller models don't have these winged pockets like this one does, but um, they're just a smaller version without the wings. So they have like a 24 and an 18 liter. Personally, I think I could get away with the 24 or the 18 because I do have a Camelback backpack that's way more bigger than this and has every bell and whistle that you can imagine. And this is pretty nice, but I think for the price, you can find others in the same price range that have a little bit better features and will be just as comfortable, have durable materials and be breathable. That's what I like about this the most is the quality is there. It's just the execution is a little lacking. I think that's a very fair assessment. Great idea, not as great execution. It breathes really well. I don't ever notice an issue when it's either hot or cold. Now in the summertime, I don't use this when it's triple digits. I have a Camelback, um, a much smaller one, but I use this most of the time throughout the year in all conditions, in the snow, in the rain, and this is how it looks after a couple years. So it is durable and there's no problems with the quality and materials. It's just, I don't really like how the pockets are designed. I don't like how the rain fly thing doesn't really, button doesn't hold it on there. And it just drives me bonkers that every time that you have the backpack like this, it falls forward. Every time, it doesn't matter how much stuff that you have in there, it will always fall forward. Every time I would take it off when I'm out hiking, and I'd go to set it down and it would fall forward and I'd be like, <sighs> and then I would go and try to hang it on a tree limb and it would repeatedly over and over again. But if you don't really, you know, those things don't bother you, whatever, it's a good pack. Is it worth $120? I say no. I don't think this is worth $120. I'd say this is more of like an 80 to $100 pack. I don't think this is over $100. But I have gotten a lot of use out of it, and since I paid 120 bucks for it, I'm going to keep using it until something on it fails or they come out with something better. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned as it is adventuring season 